me tell y'all something, sis. Stop breaking up with your man. If you're married, stop threatening that man with the divorce. Every time he do something so small, y'all want to blow it up. Be ready to throw the whole nigga away. Be ready to throw your whole husband away. You know, it could have got damn well. That's the best man that y'all have ever had in your whole lifetime. And then you walk around like your shit don't stink. Like you don't come with flaws. Like you don't have issues that flow out of your heart. And it's like, come on, man. Y'all on this independent high horse. I had everything before I met him. I had my shit together. But if you were so independent, then you take your single ass over there and you be lonely. Y'all cannot expect for me and not to make mistakes, for me and not to fuck up. We women are stronger emotionally. We are sh more stronger mentally. But you talking about somebody who is the foundation of the house, who is your leader, supposed to be your leader. But y'all too busy trying to be independent. Y'all want to lead. Y'all don't want to follow. You want to be the man in the. You want to be the man and the woman. You want to tell a nigga what to do, how to do it, how to think. And that shit don't work like that. Whatever happened to being feminine? A lot of women get treated like shit. Y'all get dogged out. Y'all get treated like masculine men because you carry yourself like a masculine man. You want to be a wife. You can't even make a good girlfriend. You're supposed to get married. You want to be this, that, or the other to the man. But baby, to thine own self, you have to be true. Y'all got to learn to be a little bit more su submissive and a whole lot more understanding. There are, things, there are more temptations that we as women are able to resist that may be a little bit more challenging for a man. Yes, he loves you. Yes, he wants to spend the rest of his life with you. Yes, he give you the world. But sis, come on now, let's be realistic. Y'all be ready to throw y'all nigga away with the smallest amount of shit and then y'all want to play breakup. And then the moment a nigga move on, y'all broke up for a month. Then y'all mad because this nigga done went over here, the wife the whole nother bitch, he texting a whole nother bitch, he done, he done start vibing and fucking off with a whole nother bitch and then you over here mad because he done moved on long before you did. This because you thought your shit was, y'all th y'all think your shit don't stink. But y'all so independent. Y'all gotta learn to be interdependent. Which means that you need to become selfless. This does not work. When women are so strong, strong-minded, and y'all are hell-bent on, I can have any man I want. I can get rid of him. I can get me another good one. Let me tell y'all something. We're dating in the 21st century, not the 19th century, not the 20th century, which means that the dating pool has definitely changed. Men are requiring much more of you women to bring more to the table other than some pussy, some good asshole for, for those of y'all that's giving that up, and some mouth. Fuck the neck. Fuck the pussy, bitch. What are you... You stand up vertical 20, damn near 24 hours of your day, if not 16 hours of your day, 12 hours of your day. What are you doing and what are you bringing to the table other than giving these men a hard goddamn time? They already got the whole world against them. They got to come home, hear y'all nagging ass about the smallest shit, and y'all be ready to throw them away talking about, well, y'all want, y'all, y'all, y'all want to, um, Y'all want, y'all want them to chase. Chase for what? Bitch, you already caught. He done wifed you. He done showed you that he loved you. He done showed you that he cared for you. He take care of you, take care of your children. He do, he, he do, he's going above and beyond. It's like women, come on now. Y'all done got a little bit too obsessed with, uh, social media. Y'all too busy praising other people's relationships and not focus on your own. Y'all over here looking at Keisha and Gucci, but that bitch was building. Y'all don't want to build. Y'all want to spend a nigga to death. Y'all don't want to build shit. Y'all want to go get brand new houses, brand new whips. You half want to pay bills. And you think that all you're supposed to do is fucking suck him now, baby. You don't think that that man is going to desire a little bit more of you consciously. Let me tell y'all something. Perfect fulfillment. You want to, when you're talking about having a mate, you want to not just please them physically, but you want to cover them emotionally, mentally, physically, socially, and if you can contribute financially, if he doesn't require that of you, then balance him out in the other arenas. But every time a man does something, it'd be so interesting how when we women, we fuck up, we want passes. 
But the moment a man do something, and yes, a lot of men cheat. I'm not going to say all men cheat. A lot of men cheat. Okay, so how do you come back from that? Because at the end of the day, if a nigga fucked up, he done fucked on something, it was just some random shit. Would you much rather he live a double life with a whole nother bitch, he got a whole nother family, or he done just fucked around, he done slipped his dick off in something, he done came home, he feeling remorseful, he like, nah, hell nah, I can't goddamn do this, this, I got a good woman at home. Men are gonna fuck up, y'all, and it just does not have to necessarily be cheating. It could be a number of different things that each of us don't like. Everybody's flaws, you have to pick your baggage, you have to pick your flaws, and who you gonna unpack the shit with. But the reality of the matter is you do have to give people time to grow. You have to cultivate a man. And if you understand anything about cultivating a man, one thing that you will do, you're going to go through growing pains. Y'all going to argue. You're going to fight. But in the midst of those arguments and fights, you should be learning. You should be growing. And you should not be backsliding back into the same issues that you just conquered. Y'all have to learn. We women have to learn to be more understanding. And when I say understanding, you want to understand the mindset, the mind frame of your mate. You want to be able to communicate with your mate. If you can't communicate with them, then they don't feel comfortable speaking to you about certain things. He got to go talk to his homegirl or the ones he ends up fucking because she's more understanding. She listening, but he really want to be with you, but your ass don't listen and you kicking him out the door. You're nagging him and you're ready to throw him away. But what happens when y'all throw these, you independent women in relationships, in marriages, okay? And y'all throw these good men away, and then y'all ask me single for four, five, six, seven years. Talking about ain't no good men out here. No, because y'all ass keep throwing them away and giving them to the next woman and she holding on to them. Y'all ladies got to do better. It's 2019. 